for those of you that don't know, um, my compadre this morning helping me out is Corey Rockefello. Corey, wave to everybody so they know who you are. Thank you for all your help. Cor Corey is going to be monitoring our chat this morning and helping uh, make sure that she keeps me on task and, um, you know, um, that we're moving along um, in line. So welcome to uh, Drive to Five. Today, Corey, do you have anything you want to say before we get rolling? No, I just want to say you guys are in good hands. Todd is the heart and soul of HomeSmart, and he is our chief industry officer. And if you don't know him, you will after this session, and you will come to appreciate him just as much as every one of us do. Todd, you are the bomb. Carry us away. You're too nice. I'll send you a check later. All right. Thank you, everyone. Good to, good to meet all of you or to see all of you here. Welcome to Drive to Five, our roadmap to success. This is one of our business builder series. And candidly, this is going to be a combination of many of our business builders because our goals uh, today or this upcoming first quarter is to fill you with marketing ideas and training designed to grow your business. And these are secrets from top producing agents, which we've put together into a structure very similar to building a house. We're gonna lay a foundation, we're gonna build the walls, we're gonna fill it with all the power and everything that we need, put a roof on it. And our goal is if you are a brand new agent to help you get to your first five transactions very quickly or potentially to do five more transactions that you did last year, or literally five times the amount of transactions. This session is going to be for everyone, um, every agent, no matter where your business is at, what level. And I'm not lying when I talk about five times the amount of transactions. Some of the secrets, some of the tactics that we're gonna talk about, we've tested with groups of agents and they have literally tripled, quadrupled, or multiplied their business by five times. We're talking going from five transactions to 48, okay? How many of you would like to do that? 48 transactions to 90. You can do that in your business. And that's what we're talking about doing here or getting you to your first transaction, your second, your third, your fifth. So uh, for those of you that don't know who I am, I am Todd Sumney. I'm the chief industry officer here at HomeSmart International. Um, been working with many of you for many, many years, been in this industry way too long. Um, and, uh, but I love it. I love working with all of you and our goal again, to help you grow your business. Now I wanna give a quick overview of what this Drive to Five webinar series is gonna be about. It starts with 11, um, 11 sessions. It talks, it starts with your business budget, building a marketing plan, it goes through, okay, what, what should be on the marketing plan? What are all the marketing essentials? What are the, what's a 90 day social media marketing plan that I should put together into my business? We're gonna cover video marketing, text marketing, certain topics, things like that that you need to be aware of in the first 11 sessions. And I promise all of you, I know how busy you are. If you invest an hour a morning <coughs> over these 11 days, I promise you that you are going to be armed with new tactics and new uh, knowledge that is gonna help you grow your real estate business. Then we're gonna follow it up with 90 days of action items and 90 day act of action uh, and key sessions, top producing agents. We're gonna work with some of the tools and systems that you need to put in place. And then we're gonna follow it up with top agent panels and just some of our partners and just some more webinars. And we're probably gonna keep it going for another 90 days after that. But I promise you, if you start to do this, this is gonna be the best hour of your day. And so <coughs> here's an overview of the 11 uh, sessions. It starts with business planning and marketing. And we're gonna talk about putting a plan in place. Day two, we're gonna actually dig into some spreadsheets and some actual marketing plans that you can actually take that, that I talk about in day one, but in day two, we're gonna actually go through those plans. You'll be able to download these Excel files and actually build a one-page marketing plan or build a business budget 
and be able to have a budget and move forward. Day three, we're gonna start talking about the marketing essentials and all the tools that really need to go on to that plan and how you decide which ones you're gonna do, which ones you're gonna pass on and save for later. Then we're actually gonna dig into um, how do you create a regimen for success? And what are some of these action plans and what are some of the daily habits that you need to be doing? And then we're gonna talk about what you need to do in your social media marketing. We're actually gonna give you a quick 90 day plan. We're not gonna implement it. That's the next session, you know, the 90 days, but we're gonna talk about the 90 days social media plan. We're gonna then dig into some specific tools that you could use, like creating an automated marketing calendar or building free Google Forms. These are some of the top things that agents are asking me, can you teach me how to do this? And we're gonna teach you on day six how to do that. Day seven, we're gonna talk about expanding your database, about building a database, about farming a database. 92% of our customers love us in year one after working with us. Five years later, it's down to like 12 or 13% because you lose contact with your own customers. And we're gonna teach you how to prevent that. That's an industry statistic, not a HomeSmart statistic. And so what we want is we want HomeSmart to continue to have clients for life and it starts with database marketing. And then we get into day eight, talking about really taking database marketing to the next level. And we're gonna really dig into automated marketing and customer relationship management systems and how you can actually put a system in place that will start to do this automated marketing for you. Day nine, we're gonna talk about video marketing and everything that you need to know about video marketing. Day 10, we're gonna talk about texting and texting for success, one of Corey and I's favorite topics. And then day 11, we're gonna do, start talk about a 90 day CMA challenge, creating little mini neighborhood reports and how you can actually create inventory out of nowhere in your neighborhood area. So I know this is a lot of data, but the agents that are doing these types of things and not wasting their time on other things. They're, so they're carving out one to two hours a day. That's all to do those 11 topics that we just put up there on the screen. And um, we're gonna set a foundation. And then after that, we're gonna dig into, okay, now let's dig, take some of those 90 day items and let's try them. And you guys are all gonna share with each other your results. You're gonna share with each other your ideas about what's working, what's not working. And when you start to hear other agents around the country of, okay, I did this yesterday, and these are the results I got today. And then you're gonna be excited, you're gonna be encouraged, and you're gonna be bolstered, and you're gonna to continue to do this. And then it's gonna become a daily type of a habit for you. And next thing you know, you're only working on the smart things that get you traction in your business. And you're not wasting your time on things that don't move the needle. And so the whole object isn't you working more. The object is you quadrupling the amount of transactions in the same amount of time or working less, working half the amount of time by just getting down and working with the things that actually move the needle. So that's kind of the overview for me. This is a huge opportunity for you, um, each one of you. I've done this with groups throughout the last three or four years here at HomeSmart um, where we've started to do some of these business builders. And that's why we've really decided to take it to the next level because the results we've got with some of these 90 day business builders has been again, triple, quadruple the amount of business or five times the amount of business. And that's our goal for you. I love this phrase. I want you to crush your goals and I want you to define greatness. I want you to figure out what you want and I want you to defy boundaries and I want you to grow your business. So first, real quick, I put into the chat, Corey, if you could copy it and repaste it for me again, I put a text link in that I would like to start with a baseline for all of you to start to share some information with all of you. None of your personal information or anything is gonna be, ever be shared, but I would like to show everyone that, hey, within the first two weeks of this plan, We've increased transactions in this group this month, this much, just in the first two weeks or in the first month. 
or in the first 90 days, you know, of what we're doing. So I put together a short little questionnaire and I'm going to teach you all how to build one of these little questionnaire forms. It's a free Google form and um, it can actually help you create your own lead gen, but that's a class down the road. Okay. But right now I want you to click on the link in the chat. And all I really want to do is capture your name, your email, your phone number, how many transactions you did last year. How many transactions do you want to do this year? So I'm going to bring back that back to the group. Collectively, we said we wanted to, we wanted to do um, X amount of transactions next year. And that's a certain amount of an increase over last year. So, and then I ask you a couple other questions about how we can help. And I want to use this to make sure that we are serving you the best throughout this business builder. So right now though, it starts with how many transactions did we do last year? How awesome would it be if last year collectively, the group on this webinar right now, if we did 5,000 transactions and by the end of this webinar series, we were on pace to do 25,000 transactions, right? That's the five X type goal that we're looking for. And it starts by you all sharing some quick information with us. We'll keep it confidential. We just want to collectively grab some numbers and um, share the results to, and to encourage all of you. So does that sound like a, a plan? We guys type in the chat. Are you up for this? Are you guys interested in growing your business and uh, getting it off the ground? One other thing to incentivize you, anyone that clicks on that link and fills out the questionnaire um, at the end of the sessions, when you fill out your questionnaire, uh, the first 11 sessions and tell me, you know, where you're at then or later down the road, actually, anytime that fills out the questionnaire over the first 11 weeks, you're going to be entered into drawing. We're going to give away a free registration to our Las Vegas convention. We want one of you to join and I might even give away a couple other popples or some yard signs or some other things that I'm, uh, that I'm working on. Um, Okay, Jennifer, I didn't get my license yet. Still working on it. It's uh, That's okay. Still take notes, participate in this class. And when you have that license ready to roll, you're going to hit the ground running. And then we're going to help you get to your first five transactions. All right. So are we ready to dig in the drive to five session one? All right, Corey, are we ready? We're ready, Todd. All right. So the first thing that we need to begin with is building a business plan and building a marketing budget. And it starts with looking at our business. What we did we do last year? What are we doing right? Candidly, what are we doing wrong? What do we need to change? Where are we wasting time? What's not getting results? What is getting results? And an old colleague that his name's John Foltz. I love John, um, amazing broker in the real estate industry. He used to have a saying, he said, if, you, if something works, do more of that. And if something doesn't work, don't do that anymore. So that's kind of where we're going to start with your business. Look at your business in the past and then look at the opportunities and talk about how to build it and grow your business for next year. Now, write this phrase down. A year from now, I will wish I had started today. And I want you to put that on a post-it note and Corey and I have both used this phrase in our personal lives to tackle something that we've talked about doing for a long time and maybe we didn't do it. Maybe it was eating healthier. Maybe it was losing some weight. Maybe it was growing my real estate business, whatever it is. I'm telling you that it starts with today and then it goes into tomorrow and next week. And if we just start doing some things a year later or 90 days later, we're going to look back and we're going to be like, I'm so glad that I started that. My life is completely different a year ago uh, than it was a year ago. And it all starts with, um, you know, setting some goals and looking at our business and changing some things. Now, one of the things when you're looking at putting together a business plan and a business budget, in two more days on Thursday, we're going to do conduct a marketing class called Marketing Essentials. And for me, it all starts with that marketing essentials class because that's a quick little overview of the top producing 
um, agents what all their secrets are and what we need to work into our business. And then we're going to cover those over the next 10 sessions, you know, that we keep on going in these first 11 sessions. Those are the marketing essentials of a real estate business. But today, what we're going to tackle is a four step process of putting together your business plan. It starts by putting a plan in place and actually creating a one page plan. After that, it's talking or knowing where and how to spend your time. Knowing where to spend your time. After that, we're gonna set some new goals and we're gonna execute some action plans on these goals. And in order to do that, we're gonna prioritize and we're gonna execute. So when I interview top agents all around the country, and I look at their business and they have some sort of a plan that they follow. They know where to spend their time and they will know they've learned what not to waste their time on. They set goals, they write them down and they check in on them periodically. They don't waste a lot of time, but they write them down and then they achieve those goals by prioritizing and executing. Each one of you can do this. So step one, we're gonna put a plan in place. There's a phrase that they use in the military when they're creating a military operation. It's called the five P's. I'm not an ex-military, but uh, I've been told, and uh, thank you to, for all our veterans, our home smart veterans, by the way. Um, and you've shared this phrase with me. It says, prior planning prevents poor performance. And what that means is we gotta put a plan in place and we go through the plan and then we check it and then we march to that plan and that's how we execute. So one of the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna put this annual plan for you in place. And I want you to commit to setting down four times in the next year to do a quarterly check-in. And let's talk about how our first four months of the year or three months of the year went. So what I'd like you to do is to break the year into four quarters, January, February, and March. And in April, April 15th or something like that, April 10th, I want you to put an April check-in on your calendar. And on April 10th, you're gonna sit down and say, I said I wanted to do 40 transactions this year before the end of the year. So if I'm a quarter of the year in, I should have already done 10 transactions. Where am I at? Am I at eight? Am I behind schedule? Am I 12? Am I before ahead of schedule? We're going to do four quarterly check-ins. Also, I committed to doing X amount of things every day for the first three months of the year. Did I get that done? So when you sit back and you look and you assess your business, you'll find that then that's going to make your second quarter better. And then you're going to do a second quarter check-in and then it's going to make your third quarter better. And then that's going to, you're going to do a third quarter check-in. We do this as your executive management team. We have a strategic planning every year. We have an annual check-in. We check in monthly. We actually check in quarterly and we assess where we are to our plan. And so that's some of the things that you can do. So up on the screen, you're gonna to see tomorrow, we're gonna through, go through some one page budgets, one page plans, and um, uh, actually an Excel file that you can have a business budget and a business plan. So one of the things that you're gonna, um, that we're gonna do is you can download, you need to have Excel and you need to um, work in Excel. You're gonna have a business budget. If you want, you're gonna have um, a one page marketing budget and you also could have a personal budget. I use the personal budget on my own. It has helped me over the years and it's helped many agents and uh, the feedback I used to think, you know, I, I, I stopped sharing it for a while and everybody kept asking me, where's that budget? Where's that budget? I need to keep doing that. So it's a one page marketing plan and a 30, um, a 90 day social media marketing plan is also available um, that we're gonna give you later on in the webinar series. But it starts with this business budget, one page marketing plan. At the very least, we want you to follow the one page marketing plan and budget even if you don't do a business budget and don't do a personal budget. But uh, super simple to do, and we'll walk through all of that tomorrow. But I want you to understand the need for it. And the way this works is 
you write down an action item. And next to the action item, you write down what it costs. So I've seen many new agents come into the business and right away they say, okay, I wanna do 4,000 postcards every month out to the a neighborhood. And that's expensive. It's printing, it's postage, it's every, you know, uh, time, et cetera. What are some of the things though that you can do as an agent that don't cost any money that you can do? So put those action items down as well. And then you can begin to manage a budget and you don't run out of money. You actually use money wisely and then use it to grow your business. And then, like I said, we have a 90 day social media plan talks about what to do in the first 30 days, the next 60 days, the next 60, uh, 30 days, et cetera. Okay, so everybody on board with the plan? Okay, opportunity number two or part number two is actually knowing where and how to spend your time. There's something that I share with agents all over uh, the country and it's called the realtor job description. And what it is, is it's a 10 um, part, um, 10 step process, I guess, of what we are supposed to do every day as a realtor. And when I share this with agents and I say, here's your job description, here's the 10 things that you're supposed to be doing in your real estate business every week. And everybody reads them and they're like, yeah, that sounds like that makes sense. What a lot of real estate agents don't know is that five out of the 10 items on your job description are marketing related. And they don't put into perspective that if I'm only working 40 hours a week, that 20 of the 40 hours should be spent on marketing. And 20 of the 40 hours should be spent doing the other realtor job description items. 50% of our job as a realtor is marketing. And if you even, and I know that's a tall task for a lot of you, but for some people it puts it into perspective and you stop thinking of marketing as a waste of time and you start thinking of marketing as the fuel in your business. And top agents, they know that if they have 10 hours to spend on the real estate business, five of those hours should be in marketing and five of those hours should be in managing the business. Now our home smart systems and tools and automation and everything, hopefully they make the transaction side of the business efficient enough that you can spend five hours conducting and managing the transactions and five hours generating marketing, five hours doing more sales. And if you can get that down, that's where you double your business, then triple it, then quadruple it, and then go from there. So what you have to know is these are the five things that you really should be doing, and this is where you should be generating your time. Sp prospecting and generating your own leads, Data database management, keeping up with your sphere of influence, past clients and prospects, creating new leads and following up on new leads, and following up on current clients and prospects, creating presentations and actually conducting presentations to buyers and sellers, putting a push on and putting an effort where I'm going to try to get 10 appointments and I'm gonna push myself, even if all 10 aren't successful, I'm gonna push myself to get 10 face-to-face -face appointments with prospects, with buyers or sellers. And I'm gonna push myself then to get the next 10. And then you get the next 10 and you're going to find if you start doing the more presentations you do, the more transactions you do. So how many home runs can you hit if you never get up to the plate? You got to get up to bat. So you know, like work for more presentations. The more presentations, the more times that you're up to bat, the more home runs you're going to hit. And then you're going to design and implement marketing plans. And that's what we're talking about doing today in your business. So the reason why this is important is according, I as a marketer, I always study uh, statistics and data first. And I start with what the National Association of Realtors research tells me. And what it tells me is that 82% of all realtors business last year came from referrals and sphere of influence. Only 18% of it came from other sources. So 82% of our business comes from referrals and sphere of influence. So if we're doing those five things that I just showed you in your realtor job description, those all center around engaging and expanding 
your sphere of influence and expanding in a data and building a database. And I want to tell you one quick little example of how I know this works. So I was working with a brand new agent and we just started working. They said, I have no clients. I have no business. Where do I start? And I said, start with the people that you know, and you don't try to sell the people that you know homes. You try to just ask them to pass your name on to friends, family, and neighbors, and to share with you if they know anyone who's buying or selling a home. And within about two or three weeks, this brand new agent, they got a lead from someone that they knew that was a friend of theirs who had a coworker who had a brother who was getting married. And the brother and the fiance, or the, the one that's getting married, I mean, that's four levels deep of friends, family, and neighbors. But next thing you know, he helped this couple that was getting married, engaged, and helped them buy a home. And how he got that was by working a database and starting to expand a database and engage a database, and then prospecting um, those leads, and then doing those presentations to buyers and sellers. Is that making sense? That's how simple it is. Don't over complicate your real estate business. So it really starts with just doing, spending time on marketing, engaging your sphere and call, following a simple little plan. Um, now, the next thing we need to do in our business is we need to set some new goals and put those goals in the plan. One of the things that always amazes me is I'll talk to agents and I'll ask them real quick. So tell me about your business last year. Uh, I came from the ad age advertising agency business. First thing we would do is sit down with a client and we'd ask them, tell us about your business. Tell us about your business last year. Where did your business come from? Where, uh, what worked, what didn't work? Give us some um, background on how much you spent. Where did you spend it? What did you do? And then when we begin to dig into research and look at that, then we can see opportunities about what works, what doesn't work, what we should be doing that they aren't doing, what needs to be changed, et cetera. So I'll often ask agents, hey, what percentage of your business came from certain, you know, from were buyers or sellers? Agents won't even know. You know, I'll ask them last year real quick, what percent of your time did you spend on marketing? I don't even know. How many hours did you spend on marketing? I don't know. What type of marketing did you do? Well, I kind of, I did a little bit of everything and they can't really be specific with me. And then when I interview top agents, they know <coughs> exactly where they spent their time. I spent one to two hours a day on doing these types of tactics because I know that they engage my sphere and they build my business. So one of the first things I want you to do Right now, write down on a sheet of paper. What percent of your time did you spend on marketing last year? Be honest. And what percentage of time could you spend next year? Did you spend, you know, a couple hours a day? Could you spend more? Could you start getting up an hour earlier every day? Instead of getting up at 6 a.m., get up at 5 a.m. And let's build in an hour of marketing. Where did your business come from? Was it buyers? Was it sellers? How many of us on the webinar right now are envious of those listing agents that seem to have 15 to 30 listings at any one time, right? And they have listings and everybody else sells their listings. So it starts with, well, then how do I get more listings? How do I get more sellers into my business? There was an agent on the East Coast that I was working with and tracking and in her first year, year number one, she was a buyer's agent. And she, cause that's all that she, where her clients came from. And then gradually she put on a goal of, I wanna get five listings. And she began to prospect for not just buyers, but for sellers. And then once you conduct an open house, you get that first listing. Then you do your second listing, your third listing, or you start to do more listings now all of a sudden you're doing more listings and you're doing more buyers. So one of the things to do is to look back and say, okay, next year I wanna do 40 transactions. 
So of those 40 transactions I want to do, how many of them are, do I want to be buyers? And how many of them do I want to be sellers? And then set goals now. But look at your business last year and then look at what you want to change. Write down what was your gross commission income? What were your business expenses? Um, what was your average gross commission income? And when you start to look at those numbers, then you can start to make some changes. One little more uh, story to uh, inspire you. Uh, I was working with an agent. Her average transaction was 385. And she said, I want to raise my actual, actually, I want to raise my transactions, my average transaction dollar amount next year. So what did we do? We put in her marketing plan that she started to market more expensive homes and even million dollar homes. And she said, but wait a minute, I've never done a million dollar home before. I've never done a luxury home before. Well, on the first of You muted yourself, Todd. Not sure how that happened, Todd, but you got muted. That wasn't me. Don't mute me, Corey. I'm trying not to. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> thank you. Okay, so what she did was, thanks for letting me know, by the way. Um, she uh, she basically said, okay, you know, I, I haven't had a million dollar home before. I don't know, how can I get my, you know, first million dollar listing? And we, we had her go to agents in her office and that had million dollar listings and ask them permission, hey, would you mind if I marketed your million dollar listing out to my buyer base and try to sell you know, your million dollar listing? How many of you, if you had a million dollar listing and someone brought you a contract, would you be upset, right? So most of the agents were like, yeah, go ahead, market my million dollar listing, market my expensive properties. And she began to market expensive properties on the first of the month and then $250,000 homes on the 15th of the month. And in doing that, when we looked back a year later and we sat down to do her annual assessment, her average price point had gone up about $100,000 in one year. And what happened was her market began to look at her as to be a, the, having the ability to sell more expensive homes. Is that making sense? So basically you can, um, you know, set goals and then put action items in place in your marketing plan to change your business. So if you're working with all buyers, you know, and you wanna make a change and start working with sellers, then make action item changes in your marketing plan to go after and seek out sellers. Is that making sense? So that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna look at what was your closing ratio. If you're only closing one out of every 10 appointments, we need to look at your presentation, make your presentation better and start doing things that actually help you increase your, your closing ratio. And then one of the other things is that I ask agents, well, how many phone calls did you do a day? How many phone calls did you do in a month? How many engagements and texts and videos and things like that are you doing? And they'll typically say, I have no clue. And I'll say, well, do you think you could set a goal to do 120 phone calls in a month? Oh, no, 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 that's too many. I can't do that. Well, let's break that down. There's four weeks in a month. So if you wanna do 120, uh, that's 40 phone calls in a week. How many days in a week are there? Well, there's five. All right, well, that means um, that's eight calls a day. Can you do eight calls? Well, wait a minute, eight calls a day, that's a lot. How many does a, how long does a phone call take you? Sometimes it's only two minutes because it's a voicemail. Sometimes it's 15 minutes. So maximum, okay, what is that? Maximum two hours a day. You can do eight calls a day. And then they put on their calendar, they block out two hours a day. I'm gonna do eight calls a day. And you start to try to do that. And next thing you know, eight calls only take you 45 minutes. Well, now what am I gonna do the rest of my, with my time? So then all of a sudden you can find that, yes, I can do 120 calls a month. So it starts by putting it down on paper, putting some goals and breaking it down, not to 120 calls in a month, but if I do uh, eight calls in a day, I can do that. And so then you can meet your goal. So um, that's where we look at, 
really analyzing your business. And um, one of the things as a, uh, um, a, I guess a process or a, um, a structure or a pra practice that I want agents to do is to look at your actual transactions last year. And this was one of the agents that we were working with and they actually did 159,000 in gross commission income. And we looked at their business and seven transactions at around $200,000 was $42,000 of income. So you'll see that that's still where the majority of their business was coming from. Yes, they sold one $925,000 home and they made $27,000. But if they only focus just on only selling you know, $900,000 homes, they might not make as much money. But if they sold one more $900,000 home, that's an extra 30 grand in income. But yet they still needed to keep their bread and butter, you know, of the 200,000, $325,000 homes. So we put in their marketing plan, things that help increase their <coughs> $900,000 transactions to get more $680,000 transactions, but yet keep selling the 200 and 325,000. So does that make sense? Take a look at your business, look at where it was last year, and let's talk about where you want it to go this year. So that's where I'm gonna have some homework for all of you. I want you to actually analyze your business and come back tomorrow. We're gonna to dig into some of these spreadsheets and then we're gonna talk about some awesome ideas and things that you can actually do then to put on a one-page marketing plan to create daily leads for yourself. Many of you, I hear agents all the time, ask for lead gen, or you want to go out and purchase lead gen and try to purchase it. And for some people, purchasing certain things does work, um, result in leads. But for most of the top agents, they create their own daily leads by just doing the smart things and doing the right things and engaging their sphere and growing their business. And I'll give you a couple quick examples. Right now, COVID is kind of springing up again. And um, a lot of people, you know, certain areas, there's um, certain people maybe that can't leave their home or people that are afraid to go out again. And so one of our brokerages in Colorado, they created this service and we called them back, Corey and I, the other day, hey, are you still doing this in your area? And he said, yes. He said, they offer free local delivery for those that can't be in public grocery shopping, prescription pickup, restaurant pickup. Do you know anyone in your neighbors, friends and family that needs help with groceries, prescription pickup, restaurant pickup? We have a team of real estate agents that'll help to you know, make that happen for you. And then they publish um, um, a phone number. And what happens is, is by doing community service, they begin to generate leads. So they made this part of their marketing plan. Uh, one of our teams that we work with and we've interviewed them on some webinars, they do a lot of social media marketing. And one of the things that they do is they get asked all the time, well, wait a minute, I don't know what to post. I have no clue, what am I supposed to post? So this team follows a little bit of a process and they built it into their marketing plan that they make sure on a regular basis that some posts are aspirational and inspirational. Some are informational and helpful. Some are humorous and funny. Some are personal. Here's a high school photograph of you know, myself or you know, which do you like better, the long hair or the short hair? Uh, buyer related posts, listing and property related posts, first time home buyer related posts. Why pay uh, rent to a landlord and build equity for them? Why not be building equity for yourself? I can help you as a first time home buyer. So you know, all these different posts renters, newsworthy posts, community posts. If you start to have a plan and do different types of posts, now you reach different people in your sphere and in your market. And again, that's where you really grow your business. One last little idea, which I love, we're gonna do a whole session on this, is the 90-day CMA challenge, where you actually create little neighborhood reports. And one of the things I would love to see on your marketing plan is, that you're going to invest time to do this to two people a day for 90 days or 10 people a day for 90 days. 
If you want to really get aggressive, 10 people a day for 90 days, that's 900 opportunities you create for yourself. So do you see how putting a push on and putting a plan in place, and you're going to have to change your behavior. You're going to have to time block and put out 10 people a day. I can't do that. Well, then get up an hour early. Because if you approach 900 people over the next 90 days with neighborhood reports that talk about what's going on in their neighborhood, how many listings do you think you can generate? Can you generate 0.01% or whatever it is? Can you get nine out of the 900? What about 18? What about 28? What if you got 28 new listings by doing that? Now, all of a sudden, would you change your behavior? And would you change how you manage your real estate business? So you have to basically build a plan, put some of these items on the plan, and then you have to commit to it. And then you have to, um, you know, uh, execute. That's really what you have to do. So another thing, you know, potentially let's do a 90 day video challenge. Maybe that's easier for you. We're going to find, you know, through this, what works for you um, through this webinar series. And we're going to put some things in place, um, even like a 10 minute open house, you know, et cetera. You can do these things and they'll grow your business. One of the things um, that I'm going to ask many of you to do is to start using an automated marketing system or a CRM. One of our agents in Colorado, she's done many webinars with us. Um, she creates over half a million dollars of business a year in gross commission income because years ago she invested in an automated marketing system and now it's on autopilot. And so basically what it's doing is it's creating regular business for her and she's working half the amount of time she used to do. So all of this is gonna be part of your plan and putting it in place. And then this is where I'm gonna ask you to change your behavior because you need to prioritize and <laughs> execute. <coughs> Excuse me, I apologize. Uh, Angel, you just asked a question, uh, what CRM is she using? In her case, she's using Exact Contact. Um, we have agents using four amazing CRMs and we're gonna be doing webinar sessions with all four. Exact Contact, Wise Agent, um, Sync, or Commission Zinc, and also KV Core. And so, uh, um, so can we see the challenges really quickly? Where were the challenges? Corey, help me remember, where were the challenges? Are you, the 90 day challenge? Oh, okay, yeah, so here's the thing. We're gonna be going over these in the, in the Marketing Essentials class on Thursday. And we're gonna be going over them in these first 11 sessions because these 90 day pushes really do create big impact in your business. It starts with this you know, 90 day CMA challenge is one. Another one is a 90 day video challenge where you're putting these, um, um, you're doing videos every single day. Um, we are going to give you copies of all of these PowerPoints. And um, matter of fact, I meant to put some slides in. Thank you for that. Um, let me just tell you right now. I would like all of you to go out and get three, three ring binders. And I would like you to put these PowerPoints of these 11 sessions into a PowerPoint, into a three ring binder and put your business plan in there. And we're really going to help you create um, a business plan then starting with this business budget. So I am going to be having some covers and spines created for binders for you that you'll be able to download in the Marketing Design Center. And to then, um, we'll make sure you have these PDFs that you can download. So you'll have today's PDF. You'll have tomorrow's spreadsheets. You'll have Thursday's PDF. And you'll be able to actually use these as business plans and marketing plans. But a 90-day video challenge, there's something called a 90-day homebot challenge. Um, or uh, uh, knock the 90 day knock challenge. If knock is in your city, amazing little um, things you can do the 90 day, how can I help you challenge, which is all about building Google forms and using them in your business. And then I love the 10 minute open house challenge. These are all things I'm gonna be unpacking for you throughout the rest of the webinar series. And um, then the automated CRM. So step four, I wanna keep an eye on the time here. 
uh, this morning, make sure I'm managing your time. Um, I need you to prioritize an executor. I'm gonna ask you to do that. And the reason why I get passionate about this and Corey's passionate right there with me, we've done these, these challenges and these um, action plans with agents before and we've seen the results from before and after. And it just starts with basically working smarter, not harder. And to do that, I'm gonna ask you to actually schedule two hours of time to build a fire in the fireplace, get your laptop out, get some pieces of paper out, get a desk, a TV tray, whatever, and start to build your plan and finalize your plan and really come up with a one page plan. And next to each item on your action plan, there'll be a little budget item with it. And then commit to that budget. And if that budget is $3,800, that's okay. Because one transaction extra at, at uh, uh, $250,000 is a $6,900 gross commission income. And that can pay for that marketing budget for the year. But what I don't want you doing is going and wasting $3,000 on postcards one time that's not going to move the needle because you didn't put a plan in place. So we don't want to waste money, but we do want to put a budget in place and build and finalize your plan. And then I need, I'm going to ask you to please start doing something. And I'm going to ask you to share with each other the results right now in the chat. Are you guys all willing to start and try something and share with others in this group on your in the chat how it, what's working for you and which one of these items worked best for you and what was the little secret that worked best for you? The whole reason that we found these 90-day CMA challenges is because an agent shared an idea about how they were creating an inventory in their area and how these Homebot and video challenges and the 10 minute open house. I had agents who took ideas and they created the 10 minute open house. And they called me up and they said, Todd, this is what I'm doing. Please share this with other agents. And so then if you know it's working for other agents, it's encouraging and it's not a waste of time. And even if in your first five days, you don't get the immediate results maybe that you expected, you're gonna stick with it. And then in day six, day seven, day 10, all of a sudden you're gonna get these results. So, um, you know, it's all about scheduling and creating action items on your calendar. I'm gonna ask you over the next 11 days or so, or, or throughout January, to schedule the time here at 8 a.m. in the morning, uh, 10 a.m. on the East Coast, 7 a.m. out in California. I know it's early for all of you, but trust me, if you invest the time, it'll be worth it. And then put some other action items on your calendar. One of the ideas one of our agents does, get up an hour early and they schedule every day from 7 to 8 a.m. They're going to do certain marketing that they weren't doing before. So it starts with your action plan. Then it takes action items and actually creating time blocking. So real quick, <clears throat> this is actually a screenshot of my personal calendar. And it showed me a day when I time blocked my entire day because I was trying to get projects done. And then it showed me day with an open calendar. Which day do you think I got more done? The day on the left, I had set down, I wanna do these things. So I create action items and then I go create a 15 minute window on my calendar where I'm gonna get that one action item done. Or I create a half an hour calendar where I'm gonna get that one action item done. And that also prevents other people from hijacking my day and putting meetings or doing certain things. And it's a way I learned this from many of the executives here at HomeSmart. We do something called time blocking. It's called time blocking. You time block your calendar in order to get your projects and your things that you want to execute done. Now, here's an example of a potential budget that I did, we did this in December, this series, Corey, remember? And everybody wanted to see this budget. And this has some very powerful marketing tools that you can put to work in your business, that automated marketing that I was telling you about, and BombBomb or HomeBot, investing in the printed listing presentations, investing in a lighted yard sign, 
um, creating some luxury marketing with a brand new um, uh, partner that's helping us with some luxury marketing right now called LuxVT. Build all these things into your budget and look at what that's totals up all that firepower right there, $2,400. I'm going to dig into this deeper for you uh, throughout the 11 um, sessions here at the beginning. But the bottom line is you can do this. And I have this phrase on my desk, whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. And I do know that when I believe in something and I believe I can do it, we can get it done and you can do this. And I've worked with enough agents, Corey's worked with another agents. We know you can do this. So I hope you like what we've talked about. I hope you're committed to putting a plan in place, choosing where to spend your time, setting some new goals, and then prioritizing and executing and putting some time block on your calendar. So uh, tomorrow, apologize, it's the same time it's not, and that um, we're gonna go live drive. So the same time tomorrow's uh, webinar, we're gonna go live drive and then we're gonna walk through these budgets and these plans for all of you. So now I'm gonna kind of turn my attention here to the chat. Um, Corey, what did I miss in the chat? What questions do you have? Well, I want to just tell everybody I've been putting the Excel spreadsheets that you've been mentioning into the chat. You should be able to download them and then enable and use them. They are in Excel. Um, and Microsoft has wonderful classes for basic Excel lessons, but we can also do those separately. If you want, reach out to me. Um, I'm going to put my number in because I think not everybody needs it, but some really do want it. So Nicole, I am at 602-432-4433. You can text me and I can help you with that. Anybody else who wants it, let me know. If we have enough people that want Excel help, um, I also want to say that Todd was saying he's going to put all these files, the videos, the backup documentation, everything that we're discussing throughout this whole course is going to go into a special folder bracket called Drive to Five in the Marketing Design Center, right? Yes and no. The videos are in the videos section of the business builders. Okay. So the videos are all staying there. Videos I'm are all staying there. Okay. But in future classes, we're gonna be talking about, well, how do you expand your database? How do you get people's contact information into their phone? And how do you get your information into your phone? And there are new devices out called Popples that you can actually put on the back of your phone or have a little business card. And you can actually touch your phone or touch the Popple to somebody's phone and it exchanges information immediately. So it, they're going to have to go to the marketing design center to, you know, to um, go put these together or buy these to use in their business. Does that make sense? Um, yeah. When we do the neighborhood report, they're going to need to go into the marketing design center to download the template to start to create these neighborhood reports. So inside the marketing design center, we're creating a section called drive to five. We're going to put the PDF of today's presentation in that um, as the first download. And the Marketing Design Center is often free things that you can download. And we do have a lot of these items throughout Real Smart Agent. They're in the education section already, but in order to make it simple for all of you, we wanted the PowerPoints and everything in one section, drive to five in the Marketing Design Center, okay? But the videos are in Real Smart Agent, in the education section, in the videos section. That's where all the previous videos are as well as where this brand new business builder series, if you miss a class, you're gonna be able to follow along um, and catch up on your own time because the marketing team is creating these and these are all going to be in this drive to five business builder in the video section in Real Smart Agent. Does that make sense, Corey? Perfect, yep, that's perfect, thank you. Awesome. So what are some questions here that I uh, missed? I saw lots of, uh, kudos that you want to help each other out. Um, and we're excited about that. We're going to have some things that we're going to uh, deploy along the way to help you begin to collaborate and share ideas with each other. Um, looking forward to see if there's any final questions. Anything for tomorrow, please. How many of you um, have you gone in and filled out? Corey, let's paste one last time. 
I would like, please fill, go fill out the free Google form that tells me who you are, um, your email address, your mobile phone number, so we can get in touch and help you <laughs> throughout this process as well, as well as how much business did you do last year and how much business do you want to do um, this year and help us set some goals and then collectively let's all go and meet those goals for so please um, fill out the questionnaires i think i just i will put the form one more time i think i just hit it to somebody directly when somebody directly chats me then sometimes when i go yep. to post it it hits it to just them so you go. let me know now Corey, just put it in the chat for all of you. I do want to answer one question. Nicole just asked her question. What is the best way to find a mentor? The best way to find a mentor is to talk to your broker, your local home smart franchise broker owner. We have mentor programs in every single area. That's probably your best bet, your first place to start. The second place would be to ask any top agent you know, if they would mentor you in their area. You would be surprised at how often top agents are willing to do that and willing to help. And um, I just, I think of one of our top agents in the entire country who, when he got into business, uh, Bobby Lieb, you know, many of you know him, you know, he's running a nightclub and he fell asleep at his first open house. And he's like, man, I wanna do this. I've got to figure out, you know, a better way and he sought out the top agent in his area and he asked him to mentor him. And he mentored for five years under that top agent. And for many, many years, Bobby has been the number one agent in HomeSmart. And he attributes a lot of his success into getting under that mentorship um, with, and in those early years and not just doing it for just a couple months. He did it for a long time and it really worked. So uh, reach Bruce out to top agents. Yeah. Who has a question? Are there any Home Smart Mastermind groups? And the Grow Summit is going to be a fantastic place for that. But what do you have, Todd? The Growth Summit is a fantastic place for that. And as I travel around the country and I ask agents, who have you, how many of you went to Las Vegas and went to the convention? And how, what about your network? Tell me what happened to your network and your masterminding groups. And did it help your business? And they always say, yes, I got this amount of business or these transactions or these referrals. And I've built a referral base by going to the convention every year. So I highly recommend, please, um, if you want uh, tomorrow, I will bring a discount code for everyone to go to the Las Vegas um, convention. And again, if you fill out the questionnaire form, you'll be entered in a free registration. We're going to give away one of those for anybody there fills out the form, but would love to see you in Las Vegas. And that's a great way. We do have, as part of this program, over the next three months, we're going to be rolling out some very strong masterminding opportunities for all of you in your local areas. And so please be on the lookout for them. And um, there'll be a lot going on in, in masterminding. So um, someone said, you know, that they work full time, will not be able to attend all of the sessions. Will they be recorded? Yes, everyone will be recorded. Everyone will be posted in the Business Builder series in chronological order. And so anyone that you miss, you'll be able to see. And we really do want you to, to not miss any of them. Um, and meaning like if you can't visit them live, then go watch the recording, but participate, apply it to your business. And I get excited about it because I've done this with so many groups of agents and that's why I want to capture the baseline. Today, we did 5,000 transactions. And six months later, we were doing 25,000. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing results. So um, thank you all for participating. I do and have one more comment, Todd. And that <coughs> somebody just reminded me. If you open up your chat and you click on the three dots to the right of the chat, it should say save chat to or save chat, you should be able to save the chat and that'll have everything that we put in there. Yours only says merge to window. Yeah. Um, what are, are they trying to download the chat? They're trying to download the chat and I thought that it was set up so that they could save it. Okay, we'll have to look into that for future ones tomorrow and make it that everyone can do that. I will do that. We'll figure out a way. So anyway, 
Uh, thank you all. I know it was a lot of information today, and I do know that the next um, 11 sessions are going to be packed with powerful information. But this is the powerful information that will help you grow your real estate business. It'll help you increase your transactions, strengthen your relationships with your clients, do more business with buyers and sellers. And I speak with confidence about that because we've done this so much. I've been at HomeSmart now coming up on eight years. I love what, we've, what we're building here at HomeSmart and I love the results that we've experienced together over the last eight years. This stuff really does work and it helps us all get better. We have a phrase, high tides raise all boats. We're all gonna help all of us grow our businesses and I'm so excited about the next couple of sessions with you and candidly, the next four months with you as we um, grow your business. And yes, you're still going to be conducting and doing your real estate business. We're just going to carve out a little bit of time for marketing and um, make sure that we use that to increase and grow our business, meet our goals. All right. Thank you, Corey. Anything else? Nope. I'm getting some people, though, that are saying they're seeing the three dots. So I think it is set up and you may not be seeing it. Open up. Let's try one more time for everybody. Open up your chat. On the right, there's like a little piece of paper with a bent corner. Then there is an emoji with a happy face. Next to that are three little dots. Do you see those? Yep. It's at the very bottom. They should have... Um... You need to open your chat in order to see. I guess you're opening it. It's so strange. I wonder if it's on your own personal settings because some are saying yes and some are saying no. That might be what it is. So go check out your own personal settings inside of uh, Zoom. But anyway, um, we will. Uh, uh, okay. A lot of no's. So we'll figure that out. Thank you, guys. All right. Well, anyway, thank you all. I hope to see you all back tomorrow or at least to see you on the recording. And then uh, additionally, please make sure two days from now on Thursday, that's our marketing essentials class. And that is one of the most powerful foundational classes and webinars that you could attend. And uh, we look forward to spending all that time with you and um, doing this business builder series really over the next couple of weeks. I'm Todd Sumney, good to see you all. Thank you, Corey Rockefeller, for all your help. And um, onward and upward, we'll see you all tomorrow. All right, take care.